national volleyball team player during the day, scientist at night. Eric Shoji puts his aspirations of being a doctor on hold as he works towards the possibility of being the best libero in the world. It's still a goal in the back of my mind. It's obviously challenging, but um, that's definitely a plan for me after volleyball. And sometimes I will read like a, a scientific book or a journal or an MCAT book, which is pretty nerdy, but I love that kind of stuff. And he's just always been a stud. You know, he's probably one of the best Libros to come through the national team in a long time, maybe ever, you know, from he set so many NCAA records and has been doing great so far in the national team. I feel very comfortable with where we are in the libero position. I think that can be a strength of ours as we head into the next Olympics. And I think he too has an opportunity to become a great American libero. Shoji attained his skills and passion at a very young age as he grew up with his dad, Dave, a legendary women's coach for the University of Hawaii. And Eric strengthened those skills with his time at Stanford. I had a great time at Stanford and I had a pretty good career. Um, couldn't have done any of it without my teammates. It's a great place to play and I loved it. While at Stanford, he even had the opportunity to play alongside his brother Kavika, winning an NCAA championship together. And now both are on the national team. I think it's a unique situation. Not a lot of people get to do that and then we're really lucky. Have your brother and a best friend on the team is, gosh, it's huge. And I never felt out of place here because he ha he's been here or I never felt lost because he guides me a lot. I don't admit it much, but I'm proud of him, and I really enjoy playing with him, too. So he's also really competitive, and he's one of the best Libros in the world. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to be out there with him. The fourth-ranked U.S. team is preparing to face Iran in the USA Volleyball Cup in August. The U.S. is eager to avenge a loss from last year's FIVB Grand Champions Cup. You know, Iran is an up-and-coming team. They're ranked number 12, but... Honestly, they could be top five. We felt like we should have won that match in November that we lost to them. So, you know, we're going in and it's strong competition and we really want to win. So it's going to be really competitive. All leading up to the next Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. I am a new player. It's only my second summer. So gelling with the guys and getting to know them better always makes me feel more comfortable out there. And I think when that comes, better play comes. So hopefully I can make that in 2016. And when all else fails, Shoji has the ultimate backup plan. If I wasn't playing volleyball, I would play ping pong, table tennis. I love it. My brother and I grew up playing it. We had a table and super competitive and we're actually, not to Brett, but we're, we're pretty good at it. Eric Shoji, standout libero, doctor in waiting, accomplished ping pong player. Is there anything he can't do? For USA Volleyball, this is Jordan Young from the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.